Hello everybody and welcome back to Angels of Death. So we got a little bit of backstory on Ray, and <laughs> she has quite a effed up backstory. Let me put it like that. But uh we need to head back downstairs. Oh, it's open. Well, Ray's still here. Hey, wake up. You've had enough shut-eye, get your ass up. Zack. I'm so sorry. And I was so sure that I wouldn't drag you down too. Shut up, none of that shit matters. Listen to me. Ray, I need you to answer me. The people who come to this floor... Are you going to kill him? Well, she just went dark and gloomy. Hey, explain yourself. Oh. Can you stop getting rough with Rachel, Zach? It's Danny. Watch out. Back off. What a simpleton you are. It's repulsive. Dr. Danny. Why, good morning, Rachel. I took the liberty of bringing Zack up to speed on everything about you. Oh, my. Oh, those turbid peepers. It feels as if they could envelop me at any moment. What the hell's going on? Am I going to be killed by you, by you since I'm on your floor? No, never. Now, Rachel, you mustn't lie. Don't misunderstand me. I don't wish to put a bullet through your head. Hey. Silence. You will give it a rest. Didn't I say I'm as desperate as you? I must make her understand that. Besides, a low-life monster like yourself must be dying to know as well. Rachel killed her parents in seeking her perfect family. I was assigned to be her therapist. It was then I insisted she be made into a resident here on this floor. Well, although the Reverend didn't seem very taken with the idea, I was convinced everything would be fine. Most of all, her peepers. I long to protect her eternal solitude at any cost. But her spirit was shattered. Before I knew it, she was reading a Bible placed in this room, right? Ah, oh, the Bible's sitting on the floor over there. Naturally, the Reverend wouldn't allow me to assign someone like her as a floor guardian. Tell me, Rachel. How could a calm and collected person like yourself become so corrupted? I wanted to achieve my own ideal. I couldn't accept anything other than that. But the Bible told me that it was me who would not be accepted. Ahaha. <laughs> and so, you tried to die assuming the guise of someone normal, pure and innocent. And Zach, Rachel was convinced she would get away with it with your help. A fool who swore an oath to God and to top it all off became the very thing for her that you swore to. But Rachel, you already knew it, didn't you? No matter how much one reads the Bible, realizes one mistakes. One can never deceive one's true self. I mean, honestly, making mistakes is what being human is. It's best to just learn from your mistakes in the past to build a brighter future. Somewhere in that heart of yours, you sincerely wish to own Zack, did you not? Oh, how wonderfully horrible. Well, Zack, you've come to a crossroads. Die here or climb down from your exalted altar as raised God and leave her alone. What shall it be? 
The truth can no longer be undone. Rachel can no longer return and must stay here. He has effectively deceived you. Ray. Is what Danny's saying true? Yes. That's right, Zach. Do you lie to me, huh? I did, Zach. Zach, will you still be my god? You want to entrust yourself to me. I'm... I'm not some god of yours. Wonderful. Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, Rachel, you've returned to your usual self now. Tell me, what it is you desire. I'll make it come true. Oh, and Zach, feel free, free to run along. Selfish bastard, don't tell me what to do. Wait. Rachel? I've committed a foul sin. That much I know. But it was no use. Just knowing it was a sin. So why that's bad, I just can't figure out. Is it futile, Zack? Am I wrong? Are you not my god, Zack? Oh! But I need one, Zack. I need a god. Ray. Lord be one Ray. Yo, this music! <laughs> oh, Rachel, that's the very instant your peepers are the most beautiful. Zack, I'm afraid I'll have to retract my offer to let you go. Now my top priority is her wishes. There she goes. Oh, your only option now is to go after her, even if it could mean your, uh, your death, Zack. To fulfill her wishes, I shall become her servant. And there goes Danny. Ah, uh, shit, wait. Guess we gotta chase after Ray. Oh, there she goes. Where the hell is she? Hey. What's this don't fill it up with water again? Don't tell me that she's in here. Oh. Yeah, for fuck's sakes. She's in the washing machine. I had a feeling that wouldn't work on you, Zach. That bitch. Thought I told her to wait up. I am really digging this effing music. Fuck, that scared the shit out of me. Playing with fire, huh? Oh, if I recall, you really didn't like fire. I'll head you off and get you. Hey, cut it out. Three, two. She cut all oh, the fucking gas line. Huh? One. Run! <laughs> Idiot. Shit. Oh, wow. This won't work either. But you really do hate fire, don't you? I'll fuck you up. Ah, so far she's been fucking you up, Zach. Oh, there she goes. Did she run away to her room? Where'd you get that? What the fuck? What? Hey, wait, what the fuck? This is like the home alone floor. What the hell? That was too much crazy for me. Cut it out. Don't fuck with me. Remember that, you idiot. <laughs> uh, 
Oh. Yeah, she's standing in the same place she shot her dad. Hey. How long you plan to keep running? Are you going to shoot me? Will that kill you? If you're going to kill me, then how's about I kill you first? It can't be that way now, Zack. It was useless from the very... Even now, my soul's telling me that I gotta die. I gotta be killed. But God would never desire an abomination like me. He has no use for me. And it was you, Zack, who swore to God that you would kill me. But once I learned that God doesn't exist, I made you my God, Zack. Right, listen to me. How many times do I gotta say this? I ain't your God. Yes, I'm aware, Zack. What are you aware of? My lie's been exposed. My God is dead. Hey, wait. Damn it. She won't listen to what I gotta say and just says her piece and runs off on her own. How do people think shit like this up? Oh, she is. Where'd she run off to? Wrong way. Another locked door. I don't need to go downstairs now. I think we gotta go this way, maybe? It's open. All you ever do is run away. Say something. Can't you take a hint that she has nothing left to say to you? That was unlike you, leaving yourself open like that. You bastard. Don't move or you're dead. Rachel, what took you so long? That's not like you. Hmm, well, a monster like that would probably slow anybody down. But no need to worry now. Even he can't survive a shot to the head. You bastard. <laughs> I'm sorry, doctor. Rachel. Rachel? Dr. Danny? Zack's mine to kill. Uh, is that so? That makes sense. Besides, I'm too tired to go on. I want to finish this. I'm sorry, Dr. Danny. I can't live with you. No. 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 I've already killed and created a family, so I won't be forgiven anyway. It's over. I don't care even if it's not my god. It doesn't matter anymore. But Zack, lastly, I want to make you mine by my own hands. If you want it so bad, then do it. You want to die? You want me dead. You want to end this. Which is it? None of what you're saying makes a bit of sense. I know that. Well then quit saying such stupid shit. 
I don't mean to. I'm dead serious. I'm serious about killing you. Is that so? Killed by a pint-sized squirt like you. <laughs> Not happening. No. No. Zack. If you want it to end so bad, then I'll end it. No. No, no. What's the problem? I'd be granting your wish. Don't kill me, not like this. Don't kill me. Huh? Just having second thoughts. It's just that you're no longer... My god. I no longer have any need for my own god. My god is dead. Oh, that's right. I killed your god. I killed it. But I'm not dead. Do you catch my drift? Who said they kill you? My god. No. Me. It was me. Not someone else or your god. I will kill you. But I... That can't be. I'm defiled. Who do you think you're talking to here? I'm a killer. Killing is my passion. I've killed more than I can count. But... I never run around all psychotically like you and Danny. I don't shit about your parents or God, but there's no reason to go around making them... making them excuses for your actions. I, for one, set my heart on what I want and act on my own volition. If I'm my own man, then you're, you're your own woman, right? Am I wrong? I'm my own woman? Atta girl. If you're your own woman, then grab life by the balls, take control, damn it. Hey, Ray, you see me, who I- who am I? Zack. Yep. And not some god, right? Yeah. You were Zack all along. Hey, you're too damn serious for a crazy bitch. Hey, Ray. Look who's in front of you. Me. If you can grasp that concept. Ray. Desire me. If you want to die, swear an oath for me to kill you. Swear it for yourself. And, swear it for me. Okay. Okay. Nah, it's just tearing up. I swear it. <laughs> I swear to you, Zach. And I swear right back at you. Bitch.
I'm honestly still bewildered by the effing boulder, though. <laughs> I'm curious how she even, like, got that effing boulder in there. <laughs> Just saying. Hey, how long are you gonna sniff, <laughs> sniffle like that for? But my nose is running by itself. You dumb shit. There's no need to say that. Our plan is to get out of here, so do something about it, will you? Okay. Hold it. Ain't this your floor? You know the way out? Tell you the truth, I have no memory of going above here. What? Give me a fucking break. I wasn't paying attention, but there's a foyer in this living room. Well then, let's go check out the foyer first. Alright. Oh, we're back to plans ready, huh? Isn't this a wall? If I'm not mistaken, this should be the foyer. Zach, give it a hard shove. Now you're talking. <laughs> I knew it would open. Look, you didn't have to hack it to bits, Zach. Ah, it opened, so who cares? I see it open, so that's all that matters. A dead end. But let's take a look around just in case. Inside a cardboard box. Only contains garbage. Dump spears empty. Barrier tape lies on the floor. Hey, not even any pay dirt to hit. That's odd. Something feels off. Ain't this your floor? Think of it. Let's figure out where the exit might be. Maybe it's somewhere we've never been. Or on this floor. On this floor? Now, I checked every nook and cranny besides this floor when I was setting traps. Gotta hand it to you. Damn, this makes no sense. Has anybody ever come down here from upstairs before? That can't be. I mean, anyone besides you would die in a trap, so we'd know. Uh, the Reverend. He'll probably know. Probably so. So nobody came down from upstairs, huh? Yeah, something sure don't make any sense. Nobody came down from upstairs, that's... Strange. Wait. That's strange. After all, Dr. Danny went in and out of the building. The traps and furniture for this room were all things he bought outside. Huh? What do you mean? Give me a second. I'll think of it. I'll think it over. Nobody's come down to this floor from outside, but Dr. Dana came and went as he pleased, which means... There's a way out on another floor. The way out must be on this floor. There's a warp that takes people out. There's a way out on this floor. Then that means we gotta look harder, right? Got any ideas? Honestly, not a one. Huh? Nothing. But anyway, let's try smashing down a wall. Huh? Nothing. There's no use in smashing walls haphazardly. Besides, to tell the truth, I sort of doubt there's a way out on this floor. Damn you, then think it over again. Nobody's come down to this floor from outside, but Dr. Dan came out and went as he pleased, which means...
There's another way out on this floor. Huh? What do you mean by that? When you came, were the other killers, Kathy and Eddie, already in this building? Huh? Oh, those weirdos. I barely spoke to them since they're all freaks. Just as I suspected, which means... I'm the last one to come to this building. In that case... Just smash a wall. Go upstairs? Zach, let's go upstairs. Oh, do you know where the way out is? How and where do we get go upstairs? Where? Forget I said that. I know you're a kid and all, but I've got no time for stupid ass kid games. <laughs> I gotta rethink this. I'm just I'm I just wanna pick random ones now, just to piss Zach off. I'm the last one to come to this building. In that case. Go downstairs. Zach, let's go downstairs. What? Downstairs. There may be a way out downstairs on floor B2. That makes no freaking sense. Are you psychic or something? There wasn't a need for a way out to be inside this room. In other words, my floor, this floor, should be the very last one made. In that case, when this room was made, there was already a way leading outside. You and I were surely brought in here from there. Dr. Danny, who I met outside, had this room built by the Reverend later on. So I think it wasn't linked to 1F. The fact that I've never seen anyone come downstairs is proof. I'm not sure what to make of all this. We need to go downstairs, right? Right. Plus, I recall that the switch to go downstairs is somewhere on this floor. That should be all we need. If you say so, then I'm game. Let's move out. Okay. The switch should be somewhere around the music box in the basement. Hey, what gives? Let's head downstairs. Zack. Is it alright if I go downstairs alone? Huh? What the hell for? This will also be the last time I come here. So I thought this would be a good place to say goodbye. Why are you going by yourself? It's embarrassing having someone else watch, I guess. Maybe that's why. Just so you know, I slaughtered those mangy mutts. Did you? Sounds like something right up your alley. She doesn't care. I'll keep watch, so hurry up and do what you gotta do. Okay, I'll be right back. Ah, the music box is playing. Does that mean the lid's open? The man will permit here. He's right, they're gone. Sorry. There's not enough time to sew you up. Ah, Reverend. Greetings, Rachel Gardner. Why? My handgun's gone. I must have dropped it in the living room. Calm down. No harm shall come to you. Then what do you want from me? Oh, I merely desire to ask you some questions, that is all. 
Rachel Gardner, Zack was not your god after all, correct? Yes. But I've come to terms with that. Yes, or so it would seem. But is that something you truly accept in your heart? Zack and I aren't gods, we just swore oaths to each other. Precisely. Zack is no longer your god, no longer is he absolute. You have made Zack into a being that is not an angel, nor a god. How shall I put it? A being who will grant your wishes without question is no more. What? Plus an oath forged with one who is not a god, betrayal is conceivable. Nevertheless, if you have faith that your oath is absolute, then how does it differ from any god? I never really thought of it as absolute. Is that so? I certainly do have faith in Zack. That much is true. But you... But our sworn oath and faith in one another is something we each decided in our hearts. Therefore, even if that is betrayed, it's my heart that has faith in him. My heart is mine alone to bear. I'm prepared to accept something different to God. I see. And yet you still desire your own death. Yes, I do. How? How can you alter your beliefs as such, yet your desire remain unchanged? Not that I myself have changed as a person. I just learned to accept myself, that's all. And I no longer want to forgive that side of myself. No one's left to forgive me. Which is why I wish to die, I can't go on living. So you have willed this upon yourself. Yes, and? The rest I'd better keep secret. It's a shame, twere as if you simply renounced God. Oh, um. You need not stare at me so, tis too late for that now. I have one final question. Who are you, Rachel Gardner? Please stop asking me that over and over. I am me, nothing more, nothing less. Oh, I see. You speak as if you stand with Zack as an equal. That too may not be entirely mistaken. A child who is neither an angel nor a witch. There is nary a doubt in my mind that you are indeed Rachel Gardner. Yes. Is that all? If we're done here, then let me press the activation switch for the return elevator. Yes, do as you must. You won't stop me? Did I not make myself clear? I shan't stand in your way. Apart from that, Rachel Gardner, it would not hurt to have a little grace. Bottom of the music box. If I press this... It worked. I gotta get back to Zack. Reverend, I'm going now. Very well, I shan't stop you. Do as you must. Reverend, is the way out on floor B2? Do you think I would tell you? I've answered many of your questions. I think it's only fair that you answer mine, Reverend. Indeed. Check the stained glass windows in the cathedral on B2. Okay. Oh, come to think of it, I never did say goodbye to this place. I'm sorry. Farewell. Time to go. 
Zach, now we can get back to B2. Let's head to the elevator that brought us here. Right behind you. What the hell took you so long? The Reverend was in the basement. What? He's still around? But he didn't do anything to interfere. What's the story with that guy anyway? Ah. What is it this time? I gotta go to the living room. I may have dropped my handgun there. Uh, back then? Then let's scoop it up and head down B2. Okay. This motherfucker just refuses to die. He's gone again. What the fuck, that sneaky bastard. A monster? Am I? He's the real monster. Doctor? Shit. Once we pick up your handgun, then let's get the hell out of here. Found it. But this won't cut it. You found it, right? What's wrong? The trigger's broken. Danny. It's useless, right? Yeah. Yeah, and Danny has a handgun, too. Oh, well, then. Let's get going. Hey, Zach. Huh? Where arrows flying through here, it looks like they didn't activate when you were chasing me. Don't worry. They were flying at me before. Huh? Hey, don't tell me that bastard went below. Probably so. Fuck. Wish I wouldn't silence him into two. Well, sliced him into two. You ran into that preacher guy in the basement, right? Yeah. Didn't you say something about saying goodbye or something? Did you? It was really short, but yeah. Is everything over there yours? There's things I've picked up since I came here, too. Oh, then they aren't really yours. Good question. I tried making them mine by sewing and patching them up. But dolls never answer when spoken to. So I don't know if they were really mine. Though I cared about them, so I said goodbye. Hmm. Oh, the music box is originally mine. When I was young, I guess it was the last thing they bought for me. I really loved its music. If you want it, then why did you just... Take it with you. Why didn't you just take it with you? There's no need anymore. All the music and my memories for it are all in my head. As long as I have that, then I don't need anything else. If that's okay with you, then that works. Yeah. All right, we're almost to the ground floor. Let's move. Okay. We're back. All right, man, this shit's complicated. Talk about this window or... Be on the shelf. I'm pretty sure he said something about the cathedral stained glass. Nothing here. There's nothing. I guess it's another stained glass window. The stained glass window in the middle is the biggest. I want to check it, but the organ is somewhat in the way. Zach. You need the organ out of the way, right? Yeah. Ah, oh, damn. 
It must weigh a fucking ton. Hey, a little help here. Stop staring and help. Ah. Don't ah. And get your ass over here and help me push. You got it. <laughs> oh man, my arm feels like jello. It sure was heavy. Hey, is there really a way out here? I'm not sure. That reverend. I wouldn't take him for a liar. He was nice enough to take me to the floors below, too. Uh, even so. Okay, fine. Let's just give it a look, then. A keyhole? A keyhole? Yeah, so the way out must be on the other side. But it's locked. No key. Where could it be? Hey, Ray. Zach? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh, yeah, way ahead of you. Hey, stand back. Doors aren't for opening, they're for smashing. And that's how it is done. Yeah, wow. You, uh, aren't impressed anymore, I take it. Sorry. It's old news. <laughs> is it now? Reverend is gonna be pissed. Man, these stairs go on forever. You're right. I just remembered. Oh, what is it this time? When I came here, I was blindfolded the whole time. It's fake, but I have memories of going down a really long staircase. Which means these stairs should lead us to the surface in no time. No kidding. It's about damn time. Tell me when we reach the top. So I can puke. Let's take a breather once we're out. Let's hurry then. Right behind you. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? What the hell did you fall for? I tripped on the stairs. It hurts. You can't be tired. You slept like a log. Can you walk? Yeah, I'm fine. Congrats for acting like a normal human being. Huh? Let's go and watch your step, damn it. Hey, we never did find that Danny bastard. Don't you think we should have found the bastard and finished him off? Well, I have no clue of his whereabouts. Probably just waiting up at the top of the staircase for you. Not only that, he's been a resident of this building for who knows how long. So you no doubt knows this building like the back of his hand. Hanging around here is dangerous. God damn it. Looks like I got no choice. Zach. You know how you said earlier in the elevator that you're happy, empty-handed? Here, take this. Is this your knife? Are you sure it's okay for me to use it again? It's yours. Huh? There's a chip in it, so I'm not sure it'll be of any use. But it's better than being empty-handed, right? Thanks. Besides, once we get out of here, it's in the bag. Let's get going. Yeah.
Huh? What's that? The self-destruction sequence has been initiated. Detonation will commence from the basement levels. Zach, we gotta get out of here. Ah, shit, what the hell's happening? The building's going to explode. We gotta escape, or the building will collapse. Damn, that escalated quickly. Oh no. The debris. At this rate, we'll end up burned alive or buried in rubble. Zach. Zach. Zach, there's debris all around us. We're trapped. What are we going to do? Man's having PTSD flashbacks. No way in hell am I going to be burned alive. Zach. Zach. This way. Zach. This way. We can get out through here. Huh? Zach, I know you can smash through here. So I know you got this. Bad news, Ray. My, uh, my legs are frozen. Oh, the flames. What the hell? What are you doing? The shore is hot and it burns. Fucking obviously. Zach, listen to me. I'll tell you what you can smash. And I'll find a way for us out of here. It's alright, we'll survive this. Move. I got this. Music's really kicking up now. Damn, Ray, you're really something. Let's go, Zach. <laughs> you got it. Let's go, Ray. I'll smash anything in our way. Basement floors will collapse in five minutes. So we got like five minutes to get out here. Zach, this one. Nice. <laughs> Found it. This one's breakable. Here, right? Next is this one. All right. Zach. I'm on it. Oh, no. We can't go any further with this in the way. Huh? Easy as pie. What? Uh, wait. You know what's coming, right? Get ready. Whoa, that was close. Not again. It's just easier chucking you instead. What's your face all goofy for? Time to move. Area head buried in debris. But this looks breakable. Nice. Zach, keep it up. Keep the destruction up. The flames. If we watch our step in, we could possibly make it through, but... Hey, now, what are you dragging your feet for? If we don't make it out of here fast, we're barbecue. Zach. Okay. 
dangerous, so let's stay close. We made it. Woo. The fire hasn't spread here yet. I'll let you know if I find somewhere else that's breakable. Here. Zach, break this. Hey, out of the way. Huh? Damn, that was a close one. Hang on, Zach. I'll take care of the fire. Knock it off. No need. He told me I can break it. Then, there's no in hell I can't break it, right? Right, right? <laughs> See? You're right. Yeah. Let's move. Zach, this looks breakable. Careful, though. It looks rigid. Huh? How the fuck do I carefully break something? Alright, just break it how you always do, then. <laughs> That keeps smashing stuff ahead too. Yep. Son of a bitch. Zach. The blade cracked. Is it broken? Nah. It should be fine. Let's get the hell out of here. Breakable. Thanks in advance. Oh, we're almost there. Zach, we're almost at the end of the stairs. Finally. Yeah, we're almost out. Shit. Oh no. It's caved in. Hey. Ray. I think I can smash through the debris. Oh, uh. I got this. Just say the magic word, Ray. You got this. Leave it to me. <laughs> Took you long enough. Yep. Damn, he really did slice through all that. Zach, your sight. Whoa, she spent. Oh well, I picked it up around here after all. No worries, I'll just find a replacement when I get out of here. First things first, let's get out of here. Move it. Awesome possum. Good, we made it. Man, this damn building was absolutely fucked up to the very end. But still, you did good, Rachel. I couldn't have done it without you. The same goes for me. Zach. Yeah? There's the door. The way out. It's the way out. We did it. Now we can finally leave this dump. Zach. What? Once we're outside, you'll kill me, right? What are you asking me that? What are you asking me that now for? Zach, is that what you want as well? See, my desire is to die, to die is unchanged, but, but, if possible, I want you to desire it. I want my death to be desired. Oh, I long for death. The thought of dying alone suddenly makes me feel so desolate on the inside. The thought of you deeply desiring my death makes me truly happy. Although you did just give me your knife, so I feel like I'm being selfish. I gave you that knife earlier for one reason. So you'd survive long enough for me to kill you. Till then, I never did a single thing for anyone in my life. 
No way in hell would I ever swear an oath for something I don't desire. You mean it? Damn it, will you give it a rest? How many times do I gotta say it? That you hate liars. Come on. What are you complimenting my sentence for? When the time comes, make sure you're ready to show me the face I want to see. You suck at smiling more than anyone I know. You got it. Uh, Ray? Ray. What the hell? Zach? <laughs> oh, how dreadfully terrible. What a terrible mess. A horrible mess. Guess who blew up the building? It's just a matter of time till flames engulf the upstairs. You bastard. <laughs> Aren't we hot-blooded despite being unarmed? What a pity. Your promise to each other will go unfil unfulfilled. Zack. Zack. I'm so sorry. What the hell for? Hey, snap out of it. I made a promise to you that I couldn't keep. Sorry. Cut the bullshit. Did not tell you I hate liars. Hey, stay with me. I'm not going to let you go. You're trapped, helpless, and powerless. And best of all, Zach, I won't let, I won't let you kill Rachel. How does it feel, you guys? How does it feel to have your dream crushed? I just love to know. And after that, how's about we all off ourselves? Shit. Zach Stop lying. Sorry. For fuck's sake. Don't make me a liar. I can't let you die on me. No. Zack. It's okay. You are always there for me. But. It doesn't need to. Every time. What are you saying? <laughs> There's nothing more entertaining than a helpless monster. No. He's no monster, but he's no god either. Zack is human. You're human, Zack. Which is why. Which is why you needn't always devote yourself to me. Human. So what? Hey. What's that supposed to mean? You don't seek devotion, Rachel? But I've devoted my all, my everything to you. The food, clothing, toys, even the floor itself was all for you. Yes, I gave you a place to thrive, and now you deny that. I'm sorry, Doctor, but none of that is what I wanted. Then what did Zack give you that's so special? Just some trashy knife. Or was it that ridiculous oath? An oath to ensure your death? Absolute lunacy. Despite the fact I, I tried to spare your, you life. Doctor, I didn't want to live that way. The truth is, I wanted to be desired in life and desired in death, even for a fleeting moment. I realized that as Zack and I made an oath and strove to leave this place, that was enough for me. 
Then at least show me your despair. After all, I just snatched away your oath. Shut up. Oh, do be quiet. Let me finish. Doctor, you haven't snatched it away. This oath, it was sworn by Zack and I. An oath can't be stolen by someone else. Uh, uh. Even if it's never fulfilled, it doesn't matter since it's ours. This I know. Wait. I just can't accept that. Deck. I'll bear this oath. So please, don't think of yourself as a liar. Deck, our promise doesn't have to be fulfilled. Ray? Ray! Ray! <laughs> oh, and Rachel, if you intend to live the rest of your life with those evasive, distrusting peepers, I thought that it would be, wouldn't matter that we can't live together. Yes, if you would remain in isolation forever, I could die now a happy man. Yet, why do you insist on distancing yourself from isolation to the very last? You ruined it. So it, it's all over. Your desire and Zach's, all of it, everything. I'll put an end to them along with my own desires too. Oh. It's the Reverend. What are you doing? I see. You are taking your indulgence too far. I'm not finished yet. I must take care of them. Uh. Oh, Zach, can you still move? You bastard, say your fucking prayers. Save your strength for leaving this place. Mind your own beeswax. A human will die from this much blood loss. What's the point of going outside if she dies? Rachel Gardner is still quite alive. Take her outside now and she will be saved. What do you mean? Find out for yourself. Seriously? Is this chick immortal or something? This building could collapse at any moment, Zack. Place is no more. Tis an unexpected end to this tale, would you not say, Daniel? Reverend, why? I admit it was selfish, but yes, it was for your sake too. So my actions were not a mistake in the least. It was for my happiness and my meddling in the matters of those who upset the laws of this of the building. Shouldn't have benefited you in some way. Oh, Danny, twas helpful indeed. I was able to observe something quite fascinating. I originally believed Zack to be a crystalline winged being. Those wings, however, have faded away. Crystalline wings? 
Did you truly think of him as an angel? Indeed. He was pure-hearted and bloodshed was all he had ever known. Nonetheless, the blade Zack wielded for that very purpose came to serve another. And consequently, his blade was broken. Zack has lost his wings and is now human. Well, it is better to say he was human all along, perhaps. That's merely just a coincidence. What is more intriguing is the one who showed me that. Was a child I condemned as a witch, Rachel Gardner. Rachel? Was a radical transformation and quite telling. And she was merely a selfish, contradiction riddled girl. In hindsight, perhaps it was I who attempted to strip Zack of his humanity. If that is true, then why? Why did you shoot me? My monitoring and experiments have already run their course. My role as the eyes of God has ended. And this shall serve as my unconsequential atonement. Reverend, after all this time, what even for? Danny, you and I, you are the one who brought that girl. Desiring to bestow souls instead of revealing read them. Ugh. Did you not attempt to become the god of that child? Yet, Danny, you are not a god. And you also knew this, did you not? What else is there for me, then? When I saw Rachel's peepers, they were unloving and full of such despair. I long to shower those papers with love for all eternity. It was then that my once ins insignificant life gained meaning again. I could accomplish anything to make it come true. But I can no longer love those peepers. I mean, if she isn't alone, who will love such an ugly wretch like myself? Oh, Daniel. By showering her with love, you would only desire to someday be loved yourself. No, oh, that's not it. Danny, you are merely human. Uh, it seems humans were the only beings here from the start. Yet humans create gods, angels, and even humans themselves. In fact, perhaps that was true for Rachel Gardner. And those who destroyed them are humans as well. Oh, Reverend. What is it you have seen within the humans here? Well, regretfully, what I always see. Blindness, ugliness, and beauty. Nothing more. Oh, and Daniel. I feel the same can also be said for you. I only realize this now. Despite you stay here being the longest, forgive me. Yeah, so Danny was like the... Probably the second oldest killer in this building. Right behind the Reverend, of course. My time has drawn to an end. Now, you choose to call me beautiful. Indeed. Well, at least Danny died happy in the end. Danny died happy, Eddie and... Kathy didn't really get what they wanted and died brutal ends. <laughs> hey, hang in there. We're almost outside. Don't go dying on me now.
Hey, we're outside. It's some like random crappy <laughs> warehouse in the middle of nowhere. Take her outside and she will be saved. What did he mean by that? What am I supposed to do now? Oh, there's a bike on the side. Hey, wake up. Hey, Ray. Wake up. Are you just going to die on me? For fuck's sake. Open your eyes. But when that bastard preacher said she'd be saved. This is what he meant, eh? Well, this place did light up like the 4th of July. Oh, by the way, a happy late 4th of July, people. <laughs> so that's how it is, huh? Ray, don't forget that I swore an oath to you. I will kill you. Oh, hey, it's the birdie. <laughs> Jeez, this is a massive building. Oh, there's more birds. Turtle is only supposed to be five floors, well, six floors technically. Date redacted. Rachel Gardner, a girl who vanished during questioning regarding the Gardner homicide, was found near a burning building in city redacted, state redacted, and taken to protective custody. Found accompanying her was Isaac Foster, a suspected presumed to be a suspect presumed to be involved in a string of murders which have made headlines in the past years. This time Foster was charged and arrested for kidnapping, and though he denies these allegations. He has gone on record to admit the murder allegations are partly true. Furthermore, the body of a man was found in the burnt remnants of the building, though authorities are unable to identify it. They found Danny's corpse too, but Reverend seems to have disappeared. Date redacted. Authorities are investigating the possible, possible involvement of a new cult in the recent building fire, though... An explosive explosion at the time of the fire caused the building's basement to collapse, hampering progress. Furthermore, due to allegations against Isaac Foster as a suspect surf surfacing in the Gardner homicide, the case has now been reopened. Meanwhile, the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. Gardner, Rachel, who denied allegations against Foster for kidnapping, was transferred to a rehab facility. Due to exhibiting signs of mental delirium, 
He is receiving counseling from a medical specialist. Date redacted. For the crimes of serial murder and kidnapping, Isaac Foster was sentenced to death. So, Rachel, is there anything you feel uneasy about? Back in the psych ward. No, not really. So you're sleeping well at night, I take it? Yes. I see. Well then, that should be enough for today. My apologies for being late. I had a session with another child that ran over time. It's fine. I'll take you to your room. I can manage by myself. Now we can't just let you do that, can we? Sorry, but... Okay. Oh my, what a beautiful moon today. Right, Rachel? Isn't it a lovely night? Lovely night? Yes, on days like this, it's best just to hop right into bed. Sweet dreams await to you. Okay, let's go. What is it, Rachel? Nothing. I see. Good. Yeah. Rachel, are you scared? Huh? Your condition has improved dramatically during your time here. The person who was with you... That killer... You're no longer obsessed with him like you used to be. So I'll tell you this, just to put you at ease. It's sort of against the rules, but... That killer... is to be executed. Uh, you just shattered her world. I see. Is that so? Yes, it probably came as quite a shock to you, though. Now you can sleep with peace of mind tonight. Yes. Well, let's get going then. Now behave yourself and go to sleep, all right? They actually let her keep that effing knife. The truth is that my nights were always restless. And my mind was uneasy. The night was supposed to be another sleepless night.
All I could do was shut my eyes. A sound. Is it coming from the window? What's that sound, Rachel? It's not someone who works here. Then. Rachel, open up. Ray, Rachel, what's going on in there? Oh no, I, I gotta call the police. Get back. My man broke out of prison. <laughs> Ta-da. And came all the way here to get Rachel. Zach. Ah oh, man. There you go again, making that boring face. Zach. How did... Huh? How did I what? I mean, you're supposed to be in prison. Prisons are made to be broken out of, right? But back then, I said I'd bear the outcome of our oath. But what about it? I mean, it's not yours to bear anyhow. Zach, so you still... Want to kill me? This is me you're talking to here. I never lose sight of something that I want, right? Hurry up. There ain't much time left. Or did you forget? No, Zach. I'd never forget. Not in a million years. I mean, it's an oath. An oath you and I swore together. Now that's more like it. Hurry, this way. Come with me, Ray. Okay. Okay. Ready? Everyone, push together. Hey, Zach. Please kill me. And stop your blubbering and smile. They're gone. And that, as they say, is the end of that. I the last couple times, I'm gonna go ahead and let the credits roll. <laughs> 
Because honestly, this game... I fucking love this game. I love it. You got the window. Ah. Well, guys, that should be the end of the main campaign of Angel's Death. Like, this is not the com total end of the game. We still got to do the uh, DLC, but final thoughts. I I love this effing game. I really do. I mean, I loved the anime when I watched it, and honestly, I loved the manga too. I highly suggest both the manga and the anime and I also recommend the game but like yeah the character dynamic between Ray and Zack I enjoyed the dynamic between the two you got this like <laughs> emotionless girl but uh, well until like up up until like episode 4 she actually does start to show a little bit of emotion paired with like the psychotic serial killer <laughs> They got like this bond, like this oath between each other. It's, it's honestly great. Now, one thing I do know is, one thing I did notice is that like the game, the manga, and the anime are completely different from each other. Like it's the exact same premise, but the dialogue is different. Uh, the effing boulder, which I'm still on about, is not in the anime. Or at least I don't remember it being in the anime. I don't think it's actually in the manga either. So, yeah, there's a couple things that are only in the game. There's a couple things that are only appear in the manga. And there's a couple things that only appear in the anime. So, I suggest if you're going to, like, just go head first into the Angels of Death. Play the game. Watch the anime and read the manga. It's amazing. As to, like... What happened to Zack and Rachel at the end is entirely up to people to. It's a tie. It's entirely up to the player to decide whatever happened to the you know happened to Zack and Rachel at the end. Because it is known that they disappeared, but yeah, we don't exactly know what happened to them. Like Zack disappeared, same with Rachel. Their whereabouts are unknown, so. But, eh. Honestly, it's, it's an amazing game. I fucking loved it. But if you guys enjoyed the video and enjoyed the series so far, like and subscribe. So, listen until next time. Have a good day.